Is chanting absolutely necessary in the That knowing? is the easiest way of being directly in touch with God. Because God and God is God's name is absolute. So you are chanting the name of God means such in directly in touch with God. Why is that better than <coughs> loving your fellow man and traditional bhakti marga? But you love your fellow man, but you don't love your fellow uh, animal. You love man, but you send the animal to the slaughterhouse. That is your love. <coughs> and the soldiers into the battle. Huh? And the soldiers into the battle to be killed. Now, now first of all, study this man, then we go to soldiers. Uh, our love is limited. Uh, but if you love, just like this tree, there are many thousand leaves and flowers. So if you water to each of them, then it will occupy the whole your life. And if you are intelligent, just put water into the root, it will go away. And if you are not intelligent, go on putting water, every leaf, every leaf. Your whole body requires food. That does not mean you have to supply food to the ears, to the eyes, to the nails, to the vetra, to the... No, give food to the stomach, it will be destroyed. So Krishna says, maya tadadam sadvam, that we have already studied. So if you love Krishna, then your love will be destroyed. If you don't love Krishna, and if you love somebody else, then somebody will cry. Then you do not love me. May I ask you a question? First of all, try to understand this. I am just. Just like Krishna says, Maya Tatamidam Sarvam. I am expanded by my energy everywhere. So, everywhere how you can go? You love Krishna, and your love will go everywhere. You pay tax to the government, and the tax is distributed in so many departments. So it is not your business to go every department and pay tax. Pay to the treasury of the government, it will be distributed. This is intelligence. And if you say that why shall I pay to the treasury house? I shall pay this department, that department, that department, that department. You can go on, but it will never be sufficient, neither complete. So you may love humanity, but because you do not love Krishna, therefore do not love the cows, you send them to So your love will remain defective. It will never be complete. And if you love Krishna, then you love in the small ant. He will not interest him to kill him with an ant. That is real love. I agree with you that we love very badly and we yes. slaughter the animals. So badly love is not love. But is the converse true, that we chant very well and that we can love Krishna even when we cannot love our fellow people? We are chanting, we are also working. It is not that. 
they are simply sitting down and chanting. Because you are chanting, therefore you are loving everyone. That's a fact. These Hare Krishna chanters, they never agree to kill any animal, even a plant, because they know everything is part and parcel of God. Why unnecessarily one should be killed? That is love. Love means never killing? There are so many things. It is one of the items. Yes, that is one of Do you kill your own son? Why? Because you love him. Explain the other side of it. Uh, the uh, the fact that, of course, the Bhagavad Gita was has its setting on a battlefield in which Krishna enjoins Arjuna to go out and uh, fight his kinsmen uh, because it is his duty as a kshatriya. Yeah. Because in the material war or the maintenance. Uh, equilibrium of the society. Sometimes killing is necessary, just like fight, war. When the enemy has come to your country, you cannot sit idly, you must fight. That does not mean that you, you are allowed to kill everyone as you like. That is a, a special circumstances when fighting must be there. Therefore the khatriyas are required to give protection. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, 